When the Maine Department of Labor closed the Waterville Area Career Center at the height of the economic downturn, Sarah Sugden mobilized and reinvented the library to fill this essential service within the community. Today, the Waterville Public Library's Business and Career Center is a hub for job seekers, career changers, entrepreneurs, and small businesses. By partnering with local agencies and organizations, the center is able to offer services such as tutoring and resume writing, interviewing classes, and assistance to veterans seeking employment opportunities. Local employers may also use the library to recruit employees. According to her nominator, library users and state representatives, the enhancement within the library and support from staff continue to make a difference for community members and all of Central Maine. Please join me in congratulating Sarah Sutton. two minutes. Unfortunately, I'm able to help uh, to acknowledge my husband, Enjoy. who has agreed to this lack of acknowledgement, so <laughs> sorry, baby. Um, hello, and good evening. I am, um, I'm so tremendously grateful for this honor, and I offer heartfelt gratitude to the Carnegie Corporation of New York, the New York Times, and the American Library Association. Thank you, too, to the members of the selection committee, whose task must have been extraordinarily difficult. Um, Thank you to my dear friends and colleagues and community partners who submitted my nomination. I'm humbled and honored by their kindness and love. And thank you too to my beloved hometown of Waterville, Maine. I hope you all come sometime. It's just up 95, so it's hard to get It is a community that supports and values its libraries, I'm pleased to say. And I offer tremendous gratitude and just big, giant, gooey love to my Water Public Library colleagues, the board of trustees, and the volunteers. Um, it takes all of our efforts to make our library be the library that we want it to be, filled with love, hope, kindness, creative thought, and useful and accurate information. Oh, that's sexy. Um, <laughs> thank you to the librarians everywhere, all librarians, with and without degrees, working in all kinds of libraries. These librarians are agents of opportunities and providers of love in all of the communities in which they work. And that's awesome. Okay, awesome. I'm grateful, of course. Um, I've been working in all types of libraries. I admit that my preference and my heart really rests in public libraries. And I'm grateful for their existence on this earth. They are extraordinary institutions in the United States. Public library infrastructure is the largest and best in all the world. It's remarkable, actually. Public libraries in this country reach 95% of the American population. That's an A, and that's pretty great. I have to say. Um, public libraries, you know, they have different buildings. They have varied resources. The services range from story times and sea cherry collections to career centers for the under underemployed. There's no limit to the services and resources that public libraries are able to offer people, from womb until tomb. Our net national public library system, I think, is one of the greatest ideas our country has ever had. And these libraries, these infrastructures of ideas and information, they haven't even reached their fullest potential, not even close. And I believe that to realize this potential, we need to leverage these assets and resources and opportunities to ensure that our public libraries are part of the solution to all challenges and issues that our communities and our nation face. Libraries will save us all. Thank you.